Hey, HK fans, James here with a little Workbench Wednesday video. I've got my good friend Jesse um, here who runs our uh, R&D department and who used to work in the uh, repair department at H&K. And he's going to show you something you probably have not seen before. Um, even though we no longer support the legacy roller delayed uh, rifles from H&K, we still have uh, all of the tooling um, in order to do that, and Jesse here today is going to replace a damaged barrel on an SR9T from our reference collection with a new old stock model. He's got the actual HK um, barrel replacement fixture, um, which you can see here. Uh, the receiver actually mounts in this section, and then there's a jig here that you'll see um, mounts the um, jig to the front sight post and then slides in this track here. And you can see on the track, there's positions for a G3, um, as well as a uh, HK33, a G41, MP5, and MP5K. So you would, you would adjust the jig to whichever type of receiver and barrel you want to, and then press one in, press one out. So let's take a look at the process. All right. So I told everybody earlier, we, we kind of spared everybody the violence of knocking these pins out because they are in there very, very, very tight. Um, this is the vise that we use. Um, it's got uh, vise jaws that are cut specifically to uh, mount the, the trunnion or the receiver. It's, it's clearance cut so that we don't touch the, the receiver at all. We just clamp on the trunnion. And then we have basically a cutout front and rear for our barrel pin so when we when we knock the pins out we have two two pin bite or pin uh, punches basically these are hardened steel punches this one's a short one this gets it started this is the hammer we have to use to get them started we call that the persuader this is true yeah if there's any metallica fans we kill them all <laughs> hammer uh, and then we have a slightly longer one that drives it the rest of the way um, in Germany, they would use a hydraulic press for all of this, uh, but yep. pretty cool to get to see the actual uh, tooling for it. Yep. Okay, Jesse, show us all the different uh, fixture and, and uh, tooling here. Right. So we've got a couple of inserts here. Uh, one is going to be for pressing the barrel out. Spare barrel. And basically, it's got a cutaway, a clearance cut that allows barrel to slide through and then we've got our press in which doesn't allow it to to go any further so basically what we're doing with this whole fixture is pressing the barrel or rather pressing the receiver onto the barrel the other the other fixtures we got here are the mandrels so we've got this one out pressing which pretty easy out press it out so if we push the barrel out it sits on the back of the, the barrel face and kicks the barrel out of the receiver and then we have our ein pressing which is pressing pressing in and it does a little bit different it doesn't really mount onto the back of the barrel it actually stops short in the trunnion and we push the whole receiver and trunnion assembly onto the barrel so the barrel stays stationary if you guys look closely it's actually got a modified bolt head with the rollers to actually fit in the barrel extension in the trunnion um, and support uh, the receiver through that movement Correct. Yeah, this face here stops on the trunnion itself. It doesn't. It's too big to actually get into uh, and touch the barrel face. So, pretty simple. But uh, if you don't have the right tools, and it gets complicated quick. <laughs> nah, I got it. Yep. Okay. All right. So we're going to go ahead. We've got our, our uh, receiver and our fixture. We're going to go ahead and press the old barrel off. Um, I spared everybody the violence of taking the barrel pin out because it is violent. A lot of people don't like to think that their HKs are being traded that way, especially at HK. But it is what it is. <laughs> um, so what we'll do is what we basically have here is a giant jack screw. And we'll press it. We'll rotate this jack screw 
and you'll see the barrel start pressing off and pushing off of the receiver. Um, you can check, you can watch this area here, the sight tower and the cocking tube, and you'll watch it, watch it go. You might hear a slight pop because some of them do that when they break loose, depending on how long they've been on the gun, how old the gun is. Um, if not, you can, again, we'll, you'll see it start moving. We don't need the alignment fixture because we don't care what the barrel's doing, it's coming off. We want it off the barrel or off the receiver. Okay, here we go. Here we go. There's the pop. And there goes the barrel. Makes it seem so simple. Seamless. All right. And then we'll replace the, um, put the new barrel on there. We're going to go ahead and clean the inside of the trunnion because you can see it's a little bit dirty. See my finger there. So we'll go ahead and clean that up real quick and then we'll come back and press it on. All right. So what we're doing here is pressing the receiver onto the barrel. So we've changed our, our insert out. The insert now prevents the movement of the barrel. It keeps it in place. We've used our alignment jig here. We've gone ahead, cinch it down so it can't move. And uh, now we just run the barrel on and make sure that we're roughly centered. These receivers sometimes will twist just because of the, the forces involved. So you kind of keep a hand on it and we run it in. And if you look right here, you'll see that polished area. There's a, there's a hard line there where the coating stops. Generally, when I do these barrels, I go to that, I bring that line, that hard line to the edge of the receiver. And then that's when I start checking my, my bolt gap. Once I have the bolt gap where I want it, then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, drill and pin it. So that we go ahead and push this on. there so now we've got that line to the edge of the receiver and I know you can't you probably can't see it very well because there's a little bit of wax on there but uh, it's pretty close So we've got the barrel, the new barrel pressed onto the receiver. Um, what we'll have to go do now is cut and uh, pin the, put the barrel pin back in. Um, since this is a new old stock barrel, it's already got a cut in it. Um, a brand new barrel would have a starter cut, so we'd have to drill it and ream it and then go ahead and put the um, barrel pin back in. In this case, what we'll do is we'll clean it up, ream it, and then uh, put the barrel pin back in and it should be good to go. So we'll check bolt gap, make sure it's good to go. And it's done the same way as every other, every other roller delay. And uh, that's about it. That's the barrel replacement in a nutshell. That's awesome. Well, thank you, Jesse, I appreciate it. I hope you guys all enjoyed getting uh, to look inside what that process is and what you know some of this uh, really unique legacy hardware is. And, some of you guys might also notice in the background, I want to point this out because we get these comments a lot like, you know, HKs and their uh, amazing reliability. This is the rack for all of the weapons that come into the repair shop um, and go back out. And you can see how sparse this is. There's actually uh, one down at the bottom that's awaiting parts, one that's actually being worked on on this next shelf. This shelf is, is ones that are awaiting payment from customers. And then we have one up here at the top waiting for an end user certificate. So that's, that's uh, I don't know, that kind of speaks volumes to the quality and reliability of your H&K weapons that this is just uh, any given day um, on what you see coming in and out of the repair shop.